Welcome to a tutorial from Equator.com. This tutorial covers Casio Scientific Calculator FX991MS. In this video, we are going to use base mode for converting binary decimal hexadecimal to one another. Let's do this. We we are converting 23 base 10, which is decimal, to binary. So first we go, we press mode until we see base. So it's for the second time. So number two. Then now we see base. So I press three. Now we are automatically in decimal mode. The value that I'm entering is in decimal. When you are in base mode. This screen, these buttons are activated, decimal, hex, binary, octal, all of these, plus A, B, C, D, E, F, these buttons, which are needed for hex values. I must be in decimal, so 23, and then I press equal sign. And now I, uh, to convert it to binary, just press B, and you got um, binary value. So that is a binary value. If your number is represented by 8 bits, what you do is you put four first 4 bits from the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to here, 0, 1, 1, 1, and then you put 1 and then 3 more zeros to make it uh, 8 bits. I put, so, all clear. Let's uh, convert 10101, one, which is binary, base 2, that refers to base 2, which is binary, to decimal, 10101. So, I must be in binary, which I am, so if I'm not, let's say I'm decimal, I can press binary, so I'm here, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, press equal sign. Until you bring the value here, you will not be able uh, to convert it. So now I'm in binary, so press decimal, so it's 21. Uh, let's convert uh, a number 71. Uh, uh, decimal to octal to convert this value to octal so this is base octal is base 8 so 71 all clear I'm going to decimal which, which I am so 71 equal sign so 71 comes here now it can go to octal press OCT that's octal number 107 so all clear Let's convert 70, 37 octal, which is base 8, to decimal. 37 octal. So I'm in octal mode. You must be in octal. 37 equal sign. And you can, you can convert it from octal to any value. 37, let's say, to decimal. That's 31. So, so let's go back to octal. 37 equal sign. Convert it to hex. That's 1f. Same way for other values. So let's convert 63 binary a decimal to hexadecimal. Hexadecimal, so this hex refers to 6 and decimal refers to 10, so hexadecimal is 16. So this hexadecimal refers to base 16. In base 16, we have our, it starts from 0 to 9, and in, for 10, they have A, for 11, B. C, D, E, F, up to 16. So, 63. So, I have to go first to hex. I am in hex. Uh, sorry, in bind, uh, decimal. So, my number is 63. Equal sign. I see it on the screen. And then, convert it to hex. That is the number. 3F. To represent it with different number of bits. So, you put zeros in front of it. Or whatever uh, requirement is. So, but that is a value so the same way 63 and decimal 63 to convert it to binary just press b and that is the binary value or for any other values so now let's convert uh, 2bf base 16 which is hexadecimal to decimal 2bf okay first we go to hex mode remember when you go to hex mode all these buttons are available, so you can enter and get the value. So I press 2, and then B, I press it directly. 
when you go to base mode you don't need to press shift or any of these buttons to activate them as you can see for decimal i don't press anything they are already activated to b and then f after that press equal sign so now i see to b f hex press decimal so 703 same way uh, i go back to hex to b f equal sign if you want an octal just press octal to be f now if i want some some values will not be cannot be displayed by the by this calculator let's say you have uh, this big value 2450 if you press binary you get error math error uh, this means that this calculator cannot handle it because this is bigger than available area on the screen uh, thank you for your attention